My name is Marcus Wolf. Welcome to Mercy Strap Program. You're getting the best shape of your life in 28 days. And I got two questions for you. Do you want to sculpt these shoulders and back like never before and burn a thousand calories? If you said yes to both questions, you're in the right place. Because right now we're gonna we're gonna make them shoulders round and capped off, make them look nice, sculpt that back, and burn a thousand calories. Um, in this workout, it's a metabolic workout. The first part is going to be a, a circuit that's going to get your heart rate up. We'll still hit the back and shoulders, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll do a, a superset hitting up at the back, and then we'll do a superset hitting up at the shoulders, and then we'll do a, a finisher because you know all these workouts have a finisher. For today's workout, I'm using two sets of dumbbells. My heavy set is going to be some 45s. My light set is going to be 20 because some exercises you can go heavy on, some you want to go lighter on. But if you only have one pair of dumbbells, just use it. You're still going to build the shoulders. You're still going to rip up that back. You're still going to burn all the calories. Make sure you have a time water because you will be sweating. You want to stay hydrated. So with that being said, if you have to pause this right now to go get your dumbbells, go get your time water, go do that. But we do a quick warm-up, and then we'll get into the workout. All right, what I want you to do right here, basically, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to bring it up. You're going to open it and look at that hand. And we're going to do a, a set of 10, five per side. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, bring it together. Just open it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, give me small circles to the front. One more from the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Take it back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, just gonna push up right here. Just open up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slight bend. Are we gonna do some rear flies with the weight? Walk the back. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, give me high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me tie my shoe real quick. Can you tie? All right, just, just keep jogging place till I finish. All right. All right, here we go. Now, what we're gonna do, you're gonna give me 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Box and shuffle side to side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Invisible jump rope. One. Two, one, twenty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, shake it up. Now we're going to the first circuit. The first circuit we're going to do five exercises, ten reps each. We're going to go through all exercises, and then we'll take a break and repeat three times for a total of four rounds. The first thing we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with the half burpee. We're gonna go down to a push-up position, come here, jump from the bottom, we're gonna repeat that for 10 times. From there, we're gonna grab the, we're gonna grab the weights, we're gonna do hip flies, we're gonna do 10 of those, then we're gonna do the jack push-up here, jack it down, come here, even though I know it's a back and shoulder workout. When you do push-ups, the shoulders do get activated in there. So we're gonna go ahead, do 10 jack push-ups, then we're gonna come up, grab the heavy set of weight for the first time, clean and press, and then from there, um, 10 bent the rolls and then those are the five exercises for the first round you can stay with me um, to get to the exercises then after that um, you go on your own now to modify basically to modify the burpees all you got to do is just go down and come up I'm just just forget about the jump and when you're doing the push-ups you just do the push-ups on your knees and then how you, in the other exercises how you how you upscale them or downscale them is basically just using lighter weight so 
I mean, obviously, as yes, you get stronger, you're gonna maybe increase the weight, but, but to, if you, to make it easier, just, just go down the weight. Still, still wanna use the exercise so we can get through all the reps. That's the key is whoever can do the most reps and look, and look the best. With that being said, start guys decide to sign in about five seconds. We're gonna go into the burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down. So you go down here, come here, jump on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more. Let's go. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. All right, no breaks. I'm gonna go grab my lighter set of dumbbells. We're gonna do what we call the hip flies. It's basically a back exercise. It's kind of similar. It'd be the same move, the same muscles you work if you're doing straight arm hold down at the gym using cables, but we just use the dumbbells. So basically, you're gonna hinge. It's gonna lift the weights up right there. and. Concentrate and squeeze the back. Here we go, we got 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put them weights to the side. Now we're going to the jack push-up. Basically, I'm gonna show you how it, how it looks one time. You're gonna start. Your hands and feet gonna start together. And as both arms and legs go out, chest out, and you snap back up to the middle. If you're gonna need to do on your knees, only thing gonna be moving is your arms. You just go here, now, and press back up. Or you just do regular push, 10 push-ups on your knees. Here we go. Let's go for a set of 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. That's what, now I'm gonna grab my heavier set. So, Joe, so basically you're gonna do a slight bend of the knees, clean the way up the shoulder, and press in one fluid motion. Here we go. Come here, clean it up, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. I'm using the same weight. Yo, we just go into ten bent over rows, squeeze the back. Full of knees time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, ten. All right, Let's see. Now, I take a break, grab some water. We got that three more times. See, that's cardio conditioning too. As you see, the heart rate's up. Breathing heavy, especially when you start off with them burpees. That's gonna keep your heart rate up to it. Doing the whole circuit, doing the whole, the whole circuit. Because <laughs> obviously, what we're doing is emergency strength program. We're combining strength training with car. That's what made it meta metabolic. You're basically lifting weights while your heart rate's up. You're doing, you're going from strength exercises to cardio movements. That's what's making the program so unique. And of course you're doing it right here in the comfort of your home. And all the equipment we're using for this program, all program is all dumbbells. Okay. <coughs> we're gonna progress some of these exercises Burpees are still gonna be the same, but when we do the jack push-up, we're just gonna do push-up jacks. That's basically where you're basically still doing like a jump jack. But the only thing is moving is your feet and your chest going down to the ground. But I, we'll get to that once we get there. All right, here we go. 
Matter of fact, when we do the burpees this time, we're gonna get our chest all the way down to the ground. We're progressing this, because we're trying to make it harder, not easier. Because the harder you get through these work, harder workout is and you get through it, the more results you get. So we're gonna go down, chest all the way down. Come here, one, two, three, four, five, come on, let's go. Six, we got four more. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one. Ten. All right. What we do? Now we're going to the hip flies. I'm grabbing the lighter weight. Now, last time I had my palms facing to the back of me. Now I'm going to do the same thing. My palms are going to be facing me. It's going to be hammer grip. Stool it. Stool working the back. Here we go. One, two, Three, control the weight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place this side. Now, push up jack. Last time we did jack push ups. So basically, I'm going to show you one time. If you need to, you still to do push ups on your knees. We go here, down, and then legs back up. Snap that. We're gonna do 10 of those. Here we go, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, clean and press. Make sure we're doing the clean and press. You're actually rolling them shoulders up, because that's part of the movement too, part of the exercise. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. All right, what we're going to do. Last time we did a wide row. This time we got palms facing each other. And we're gonna still straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, waist down. All right, another, another quick break. And then we're gonna go. We got that two more times. Good job. Let me make sure you drink your water. What we're gonna do, how she knows that, we're going around. We're progressing these uh, exercises. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a push-up, then come up to a burpee. Just to make it a little bit harder. And of course, we got the hip flies and we do the jack push up. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do two shoulder taps and then a jack push up. And that'd be one rep. We're gonna do 10 of those and then we're gonna do reverse grip, bent over rows. Does that work? You add 10 more push-ups to the circuit, yup. Because this is a mercy shred. We gotta get shredded. It's a mercy cold red. It's a very, very important that we give everything we got. Here we go. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna go in. Make sure we go down and do the push-up. You go there, you force it to stand at the top. Then you go into the jump and you just repeat. Total 10 reps. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. You go down. Give me a push up, come here, and then jump one, two, 
three, four, five, five more, six, one more, seven, three more, eight, Nine. One more. Let me get one more. Ten. All right, hip fly. Same thing you have. Palms facing. What we're gonna do? We're gonna alternate. It's still gonna be ten per arm. Here we go. Start your left. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have my palms facing away from you, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Clean and press. Now, it's like we did the hip flex. We're gonna do alternating. Still 10 per arm. There you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. We do a ten up till now. Now we're just gonna do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost there. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, uh, ten. We first get to meet your palm and we face away from you. Now the key is, you have lower back issues. What will help you out? Tighten your core. That will take pressure off your lower back. Squeeze the, squeeze the core. Let's go, let's, let's do these rows. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the back, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, good work. Let's we got that one more time. I know some people say that portion is a workout in itself, but you know here we add a little bit more to the workout so you can probably get the ultimate results. So we got. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna. This last round of we do is gonna be the hardest one. So basically we're gonna do a push-up to a burpee, then add a tuck jump. Even though I know it's a back and shoulders workout, but it's not gonna hurt you to, to do these, these full body movements too. Important if you're still trying to burn these calories. Then from the hip flies, it's gonna be very difficult. We're gonna do it from the plank position. That means we're gonna go into a push-up position, holding the dumbbells, do hip flies from that position. Still 10 per arm, and then, then what we, um, then what, did I forget the, um, oh, I forgot the jack push-ups for this round. Oh, my bad. So let's go ahead and knock these out real quick. Sometimes I'm doing this live, I forget, so, so go ahead, go ahead, let, let's do this, and we'll get another break after this. I don't want to cheat you to rep. So basically what we're gonna do is start with your feet together, two shoulder taps, then a push-up check. I forgot all about it, my bad. Here we go, let's go. Let's knock these off. Complete the round. One. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, four. Five. Uh, six. 
four more. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. All right, ten. All right, that was my bad. I don't know why I forgot. Sometimes you get tired, you want to get through it, but that's okay. We made up for it. Long, we still get the amount of reps in. So good. So basically, this next round, we're gonna do a push up to a burpee and to a tuck jump. We're gonna do hip flies from the plank position. Then we're gonna do jack push ups with a shoulder tap, combining everything, stool regular clean and press, and then bent over rows. So those are the five exercises. Last time through the circuit, and then we'll go into a back, a back on the superset. All right. <coughs> so we're gonna go for a push up, burpee, then we'll add a tuck jump at the end. Now, try to get your knees up as high as you can on tuck jump. But if you're a person that got bad knees, if you're just putting tight, just go down, do a push up, and get back up. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. Push up. Come here. Tuck jump. One. Two. Three. Four. Show you one time. So not yet. Go ahead and rest. And on Barbie Tuck Jump Sketch. So you will make sure your legs are wide, lay your shoulders core tight, give you a strong base of support. You're gonna come here and just do that. This is gonna do all from that position. We'll do five on one side, five on the other side, five on the other side again, five on the other side, a total of ten. So start with your left side, feet wide, and just don't swing the weight up. Just use your back to get the weight up. All right, here we go, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Five, one, two, three, four, five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back to the other side. We got one more time on this side. Five reps on this side. One, two, three, four, five. On this side, five, four, three, two, one. My exercise works your core too. Of course you felt it. All right. So I'm about to get the push ups again. So now, let me show you. You will start with the push up jack. Every time you do a push up, that's one rep. So basically, you're gonna go, let me show you one time. You're gonna go to jack push up, shoulder tap. One fluid motion. If you can, just stay with the shoulder, shoulder tap push up, or just do push ups from your knees. All right, here we go. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 
Okay. Woo. All right, now, two more exercises for a second. Clean and press. Here we go. Double, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do seesaw rows. It's basically, you're, you're kind of pulling both. But the trick is, you should be constantly moving the both arms. So it's not like you pull here, you pull here. They rotate, they should meet in the middle, but you're still, you're still extending down, getting that stretch in the back, working the thing. So let's go. We're gonna do a 20 count, which makes it a temporary arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Take a break. Now I'm gonna go to that back superset. Well, good news, in my opinion, the hardest part of workout is done. That's it. A little second we did right there. That's a workout in itself. Bro. We're not just, we're not stopping there. We're trying to get shredded, we're trying to get strong. We're trying to get overall fit. So we gotta go. The back said, what are we gonna do? We're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my head here, set. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna do six rolls on this side, six on the other, and six together. I'm gonna put it down, grab, grab my light weight, and do 12 reverse flies, working the rear delts in the back and upper back. All right, let's go. Let's knock out this first round. So basically two exercises. That's what we call a superset. So I'm gonna grab my heavy set. Make sure it's like bending the knees, hinge, keep the core tight, start with your left six rows. Let's get it one, two, three, four, Five, six, you can go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now together, squeeze that back, full extent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, so I'm gonna grab the lighter weights. You're still gonna be at the, at the hands position here. Just raising up 10 reps. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work. We got that two more times. So, we bought. Okay, this round we're gonna go ahead and progress it. Last time we had them down here. Now the other one that's not doing the rowing is gonna hold the squeeze to the top position. Keeping constant tension on that back. Super, dynamic supersets. Supersets. I like those supersets. It's nice to work. Work out, go faster. And really, my favorite. I love circuit training. It's a good way. It's a good way to get the heart rate up. Good. Circuit training is the best way to change your body composition. That's why we started off with that. That metabolic. Back to shoulder workout. I mean, circ I mean, yeah, it is a workout in zone, but in that first part. So let's go back, let's knock this out. So basically what I want you to do, you're still gonna hinge, pull both up, I'm holding right here. Your left is on there coming down, pull it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now hold it up there, six on the other side. One, squeeze that back, two, three, four, five, Six now together, six reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. My back is on fire, it's feeling it. That's what you want. If you're not feeling it and you're able to go up, go up and wait. 
only if you're ready, but you definitely want to challenge yourself. So let's go rear fly. This time I have palms facing, palms facing me. Still the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. You got that? That's good work. All right, we got that just one more time. I know you're tired, but that was okay, man. Oh. Especially you probably burnt out. Your legs and chest are probably sore. If you're following the program, because the day before you did chest and legs like never done before. Same thing you're doing back and legs and then next workout is gonna be after this one. We're gonna hit the arms and abs. Then during the week we do some total body workouts, some more conditioning. But you will get rested on Sunday. Alright. Now we're gonna, we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna start with six together. Six on one side, six on the other. And then finish off with the rear flies. Make sure you bend your knees, picking up your weight. You don't want to get injured. So together, six bent over rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring both of them up. Left side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold up, other side, six, Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna put the, then I'm not gonna use the heavy ones anymore. Uh, go ahead and grab your lighter set if you have them, or maybe just use a one number. So we're gonna do five palms facing each other, five palms facing you. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the palms facing you, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. All right, rest it up. We're almost there. We got two more portions left. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna do a superset, working the shoulders. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go six lateral raises on one side, six on the other, six together, and then, and then 12. Um, um, 12 um, upright rows. Here's how we get some more. I know, I know, it's, I know it's tough. That's what you're here for. Good job, though. You came too far along the street now. Alright, so I'm going to go back in, work these shoulders. It's really not a time rest. We're just do enough to let our heart rate go back down, then we're going back into it. Start with your right. Things like bend, lateral raise six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, six on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do six together. One, two, three, four, five, Six. All right, upright row. We're going for 12 reps. Pull up. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. Four, five, six. Six more. Seven, eight, nine. Let's go. 10, 11, 12. Uh, woo. Shoulders, yeah. You want to build the back and shoulders. This type of training you got to do. It's not the typical just to three sets to 12. We're throwing conditioning, strength, time and attention, getting your heart rate up in there, incorporate all these different. Yeah, basically, we're focusing on back and shoulders, the primary, but basically, really everything is getting worked. You get some chest in there, you get some legs in there, arms, you know, all that stuff in there. So, so be happy about that. Get more bang for your buck. All right, here we go, we're about to go. One more time. I mean, two more times, actually. All right, this time, this two steps. So, we're still gonna be doing that lateral, but last time in the palms, so now we're gonna bring them here. Up, 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 up. It's gonna be a little bit harder. If you need, you might. 
I'm staying the same way. But this, this moves a little bit harder. If you, if you, if you, if you have the, um, if you have it available, you can go down five to ten pounds to make sure your form is right. Or if it gets to a point where you only have one set of dumbbells, it's getting too much. You can still do the movement with, without no weight, or grab like a remote or something. So we're coming up here. Start with your your left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cause we're fighting out together. One, two, ah, three, four, five, six. That's work. Now we're gonna alternate each side right here. Stool. Uh, 12 count. One per arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just on your right side. Give me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we got that one more time. Woo. Uh, now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine all the, we're still gonna do the same amount of reps we're gonna do Basically, we're gonna start off, we're gonna do upright row, come down into a ladder raise. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off, we're gonna do um, six like that, six ladder raises like that, and then six upright rows. It's gonna be tough, a lot of time on the tension. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one here, that's one, do that six times. Then we're gonna go here, do that six times. Then we're gonna go here, do that six times. So right here, so be prepared. So basically, here, palm station, give me an upright row, then to a last Upright row, lateral raise, that's one. Upright row, lateral raise, that's two. Upright row, lateral raise, that's three. Upright row, lateral raise, that's four, two more. Upright row, lateral raise. That's five, one more. Upright row, lateral raise. All right, on your left side, give me six lateral raises. One, two, three, four, five, six. On right, that same arm, give me six upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, same thing, other side. Give me six lateral raises. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got one more push, so you're gonna bring them up, bring them up here. Six lateral raises from right there. One, two, three, four, five, Six, all right, last thing, six upright rows, here we go. One, two, three, four, let's go. Five, one more, six, put them down. Grab a breath, Woo. That's time and attention, that's, that's what you want. You see, I threw you for Lucy, sometimes I throw surprises at you, so, but I went, I went throwing them at your body, I think you could do them, you could do them. I have faith in you, confidence, Straighten this. So basically, now we're gonna do a burnout. I know you probably have burnt out already, but give me a little bit more. A little bit more. We're gonna do it's like 40 seconds. We're gonna do two exercises. We're gonna do them both back to back. 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, then we're done. The two exercises is still gonna be concentrating on back and shoulders. We're gonna go, you're gonna give me a push-up, a row, a row. So we basically do a random guy rows for 40 seconds. Then from there, the same weight, alternating front raises, palms facing each other. We'll, we'll switch it up each time. But, 
So this is the basically the last three minute finisher right here. Let's go ahead and knock this out. There's only three minutes, three minutes of your life. All right, so basically let me, before I start the clock, let me show you the renegade, let me show you the moves. Now, if you able, now if you need to go lighter, you can. Your feet are gonna be, like when we did them hip flies from the plank, plank position, you still wanna go wide. So you're gonna give me a push up, you're gonna come up, you're gonna row it, row it. You're gonna do that as many times you can in 40 seconds. And then from there, you're gonna come up, stand up on your feet, and it's, I mean, front raise, front raise as many times you can in 40 seconds. Then we'll go do each exercise for 30 seconds, 20 seconds. So basically three minutes of work with no rest. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and get a sip of water. But in about seven more seconds, we're going in with the finisher. All right, here we go. I know it's intense, but you got this. Like if it gets to a point where you don't want to roll away up, you can still just do it with your arms. So go down, do a push up, and then just do a roll with your hands. And same thing with the front raise. All right, feet wide. Push up, uh, row, right here. Push up, row it, keep the core tight. <sighs> and then up. Uh, I know it's tough. If you have to go to your knees, go ahead. Got about, got 15 seconds left. Of oh, this movement anyway. <sighs> Push up at least. All right. All right, start standing up. All right, front raises. Alternating. Uh, even though it's not easy, this almost like active recovery doing these front raises after doing them renegade rows. Uh, keep going strength and conditioning. Scoped in your back and your shoulders. Dumbbells only. No lat pull downs, no pull ups, just dumbbells and body weight exercise. All right, now we got everything for 30 seconds. Same thing. Give me a push up. Uh, you're gonna go for a row and another row. Uh, I mean, you might gotta take it. All right, back into it. 12 seconds left. Let me do one more at least. Front raise. Man, yeah, I'm tired, but we almost there. Back and shoulders. 10 seconds left. Like I said, you can lighten the weight on these. All right. All right, 20 seconds, everything. Last last superset right here. Man, I mean. All right, let me get back into it. Let me get at least one good one. I'm gonna have my palms facing up. Still doing front raises. It's all right to train a failure. All right, that's when the results come in. All right, that was your intent. And I know it was intense. Um, back and shoulders, probably like you never did before. That was functional, that was metabolic. You were sculpting it, you were building strength, you were building endurance, just overall conditioning, your strength and conditioning improved. So let's go ahead and do a cool down. So basically, you know, feet shoulder width apart, go down. Even though it was a back and shoulder workout, we did get some leg action there when we did the burpees and all that other stuff. All right, bend your knees coming up. 
slide your feet in together, just reach up, reach for the sky. Stretch out the abdominals with all the, because basically in all this work I do and activate your core. I, what I want you to do is grab here, stretch out them shoulders. I right, switch it to the other side. All right, start swinging the arms right here, open it up. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, you're gonna bend your knees. Go down, touch your toes. I'm gonna straighten them out. Bend them again, straighten them out. Bend them again, bring them out, hold for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to slowly come up. All right. Start tapping side to side. Just let you come down. 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, good job. That was your back and shoulders workout. Make sure you stick with the plan. Basically, the 20 day program to get it super fit. If you stick with it, like I said, if you stick with it, you will get results. And what's good about this program, you can scale it down. Like basically it has you working six days a week, um, working out, taking one day rest, and you stick with the meal plan, the three by three, three solid meals, to, um, three checks a day. Combine these workouts, you will get results. But if you're a person that, say you're intermediate or advanced, there's, there's some, you can stack it with some other workouts to get you, get you to your goal quicker. Maybe you're a person that's already in the meat advance, but you still try to make extra gain. So do this stack with another workout. If you're a beginner, let's go and do one workout a day. You're gonna get crazy results. My name is Marcus Wallace, US Army Master Fitness Trainer, Group Fitness Instructor, Certified Fitness Trainer. I'll see you next workout. Peace.